I'm Chris Fuentes, the founder of Ranger Ready Repellents. Our small team invented a new tick and insect repellent because we live at the epicenter of tick-borne diseases in Norwalk, Connecticut. We've been threatened with tick-borne diseases since the 1990s. Our neighboring states, New York and Massachusetts, face similar issues. In fact, all along the eastern seaboard, communities are worried about tick-borne diseases. According to the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, more than 5,000 people a week contract Lyme disease. That's up 300% in recent years. One in five of those people, about 1,000 people a week, will have lifelong symptoms from tick-borne diseases. At Ranger Ready, we found a common thread among tick bite victims. They either used repellents improperly or didn't use repellents at all. We'd like to help dispel a few common myths about repellents and ticks. To help me do that, I'll be joined by Susie Condito, a registered nurse at the Stanford Hospital where infectious disease doctors treat a high volume of tick-related diseases. Are DEET-free botanicals a good choice to protect yourself from ticks? The answer is no. It's important to remember that natural oils, remedies, and botanicals are not registered or regulated by the EPA, which means products made with these ingredients haven't passed the rigorous testing required by the EPA in order to claim that they work or are safe for use on humans. One of our biggest concerns at Ranger Ready is that when people apply these natural repellents on themselves, they're creating a false sense of security and believe that they are now protected against ticks. Natural products that generally market themselves as DEET-free tend to last for only a short period of time and are no match for a tick looking for a meal. Does spraying my clothing with repellent keep ticks from biting? No, spraying only your clothes with repellent does not work. Most people learn this lesson the hard way after they've been bitten and realize that it happened because they only sprayed repellent on their clothing. The reason this method isn't effective is because ticks crawl right in where you miss, especially around your belt and collar. Baby ticks, known as nymphs, are tiny specks. They're questing and will die if they can't find blood to feed on. You, your kids, and your dog are all perfectly tasty hosts for ticks that are adept crawlers. If I stay out of the woods, am I safe from tick bites? No, that's not true. In fact, researchers have seen that not only deer carry ticks, but squirrel and whitetail mice and raccoons and fox carry ticks and multiple ticks. And what we've seen now is what researchers warned us of many years ago, which is migrating songbirds are migrating from the north with more virile diseases, going south for the winter and then bringing them back up to the north where we have exposure to them because they've survived the winter. Does the CDC provide guidelines regarding the amount of any particular active ingredient the repellents should have? Absolutely. In fact, they just recently amended those guidelines to say that the active ingredient should be at least 20%. However, you should note that there's no research at all that a product that contains more than 30% of an active ingredient, such as DEET, is effective. In fact, Health Canada banned DEET over 30% in 2004, and the European Union only allows DEET up to 20%. We highly recommend that you wear protection every day and then follow a protocol, including wearing lighter undergarments, wearing repellents, staying out of tick infested areas, and certainly making regular tick checks for both you and your family, as well as your pets. Wear Ranger Ready every day and we'll protect you for a lifetime. <laughs>